I'm Davo, and I am here with Rory from Pub Games. Games. Hey, hi Rory. Hello again. We were just talking about Cornish pasties. I know, I'm so hungry. I know. I, I love Cornish pasties. For the, you guys that don't know, Cornish pasty is like meat with like pastry wrapped around it. It's. I would have to go for like a vegetarian option that had like the mushroom and spinach or something inside. That also sounds good. But you don't have them in Ireland. No. They're not, they're not a thing. They're a very, um, I think, English kind yeah. of countryside type thing. Mm. But do you know what you do have in Ireland? Blank. <laughs> ah. Nice segue. Yeah, that segue is, <laughs> I'm getting better. Yeah, so we're going to talk. take a look at Blank, which is your little card game here. Mm. And so I actually don't know a huge amount about it. So tell me, Rory, tell me more about Blank. So Blank is a game designed by um, the French game designer Henri Camerac. Um, and essentially, it's like kind of Uno Legacy, for people who know Legacy games, which nice. are games that change every time you play them, uh, and you make a permanent change to, to the game. Um, so if you've ever played Uno, you know how to play this game. Um, you're playing cards out of your hand, matching colors and numbers. Um, the first twist in the game is there's a set of rule cards that you deal out every game, and you have to observe those rules. And if you fail to observe them, you take a penalty. Um, and that might be things like, you know, if you play um, a red six, you have to draw a card. Um, some cards also have effects that trigger when you play them that okay. might cause other players to pick up cards. The magic of the game is that when you win a game of blank, you get to take either one of the blank rule cards that comes with the game or one of the game cards and write a whole new rule that's mm. going to forever change the game and make it your own. And that, when Henri first pitched the idea to us, that's what we fell in love with. It's like it, the game starts as a kind of almost like a blank slate for you to. Mm. Customize and change, and, and make it unique to your your family, your friends, you know, your work colleagues, or the people you meet when you're traveling as well. It's a great icebreaker type game to, to play with other people. Yeah, and a good a good memento as well of all the people that you've played with, because you have their cards if they win, of course. Yeah. In the deck with their the handwriting on, so that's really nice. And not just that, they with. actually are invited to sign. We we added a space in the bottom where the person signs the card, oh. um, so it becomes like a permanent memento. That's cool. So let's have a look at the box. Um, so you can see it's a tiny little box. It's actually got a little, a little shelf. See, we're all about the like, design. The slidey, slidey. Um, make it your game. Uh, on the back, we have the ages. So it's age six plus, two to six players, and it takes about 10 minutes. Um, yeah, you sold me really at, when you said Uno Legacy. I instantly knew as a gamer what, what that was. Um, but as a not gamer, Uno that you write on. So yeah, so, Uno that you write on is a good, I mean, a good pitch. It's funny because Uno is such a classic in that um, it's played by people all over the world. And mm. it's really easy to teach, really easy to, to learn. Um, and that's what we kind of really like about Uno and what, again, Henri has done, is kind of taken that and just kind of turned it up a notch. So mm. if, if you've played Uno and you're looking for something a bit different, you know, your non-gamer friends, this is like a really neat game. Like mm. if you go, do you know Uno? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can play this. No, not intimidated, like at all. Do you want to pull the shelf out? Okay. Well, that sound that sounded like it was more ominous than I thought it was going to be. Everything but you say has like this innuendo to it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not. It's. <laughs> I don't intend it. It just comes out. Can't help it. Okay. So if I take this bit, okay, you can do the shelf. So it's got a real nice like tray for holding all of the nice the cards in it. And so there's essentially kind of like two types of card within the game. Okay. Uh, we call these the game cards. Uh -huh. um, there's six um, different colors and six different numbers, uh, one to six. Let's have a little gander. Uh, so here we go. So here's the the numbered cards, one to six. Oh, some of them have already got pictures on. Some of them have kind of illustrations to help inspire the rules that you might add to them. Okay. And some you'll more. see there that some of them, like this is one of the cards that comes with a kind of ready effect on it mm. as well. OK. So yeah, it gives you a good you know, a good idea of like what kind of things you should be thinking about for rules. Yeah. And so we've even designed the cards for accessibility. So we use um, shapes and colors to help identify the cards Oh, clever. As you well. can see in the, cor in the corner here. Mm -hmm. So it says there's a little diamond, and then up here you've got a little hex. Yeah. Cool. And we've got some circles here. Um, so it says, mirror, mirror, play this card instead of receiving a penalty. The players who call that penalty must take one card instead. Ooh. Okay. So you get to kind of bring elements of other games that you really enjoy playing and kind of like blend them into your version of blank. Okay. So the other type of card are the, the rule cards. Uh-huh. And before each game, you're going to deal out three of them. So the game comes with 14 mm -hmm. um, in it. And you'll deal out three before you 
play. Okay. So in this case, um, it says if a three is played, the next player skips their turn. If a two is played, um, the player must take another turn. Or if a one is played, uh, all players must put their hand on the draw pile. Okay. Um, we actually have a rule in here that was from a fan at the UK Games Expo. Because oh, uh, nice. we invited people who were coming to kind of create a new rule mm. and that we would add it to the game. So this was at the UK Games Expo and it was by Connor J. Unfortunately, I cannot remember Connor's last name. Oh. But again, you see it's Memento. Yeah. Um, so in this case, if a player says another player's name, the player who said the name must draw two cards. So the rules that are in the game both affect what's happening in the game, but also what's happening around the game. And mm. that's kind of the magic. Um, because like I said, when the first person to get rid of all of their cards, they're going to get to take one of the blank rule cards that mm. come in the game and write their own kind of if-then statement and create a new rule okay. that all the players must follow in future. Okay. Well, I feel like we should play a little bit, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm game. So what I want to do is I actually want to write on the card because that's the exciting bit. Okay. So can we do a card each well, let's, and include it in the game? These are what are going to immediately impact the game. Mm. Okay. So okay. <clears throat> there's a few kind of quick rules for writing a rule, mm -hmm. and it's basically the owner of the game must approve it. So I'm going to assume you are the owner of the, the game. <laughs> uh, I do not approve my own rule. No, <laughs> bad yeah. David. And that um, it's helpful to kind of discuss the rule with the other players to just get the wording right and make sure the intention of your rule um, is evident mm. as well. And can it be as out there as you want? Oh yeah, we've had things where if, um, you know, if a Blue, red, a uh, blue, green, a uh, blue six is played. Nominate another player to make you a cup of tea. Oh wow! Um, if a player like says, um, my daughter came up with one which I love. Um, it says, if a player says yes or no, in any language, they must draw a card. Ooh. And so, as you're playing the game, you're like trying to provoke other people into saying yes or no mm. as part of the conversation to force them to to draw a card. Um, so they be, can be quite meta. They can be based on in jokes that you have as friends. I have another daughter who loves making like very kind of physical ones. So you have to sing songs or you have to dance. Nice. I would rather take a penalty than do <laughs> a lot of those. <laughs> like anything, <laughs> anything but that. <laughs> but uh, it, I think this is what just I love about this game is because um, we have like a an ins uh, a hashtag um, mm. which is blank rules where people share rules that they create using the game as well. And just seeing what people come up with is incredible. Like, yeah. Because you're like, I had never have thought of that. And then that gives you the inspiration where you're like, OK, oh, I want to play blank because I want to. Mm. It's given me an idea for a rule that I want to add into the game mm. as well. And instantly, like, great, it's a great Instagram post if you're just like, look at this rule. Look what, look what Dave came up with. Yeah. Not me, Dave. I'd probably come up with Different an awful Dave. rule. Different Dave. So I, mean, I have other friends called Dave. We actually put a lot of work into these cards so that they would accept Biro. This is the moment of truth. Yes, it is. Oh, OK. Um, you might want to kind of run it on something just to get the ink flowing, because I think it's da -dum, a new pen. Da -dum, da -dum. Okay. So what's your, tell me about your, what's your rule going to be? My rule. So I'm thinking, if you say the word um, you must discard a card. Does oh. that work? Or draw a card? So what that would do is accelerate the win of the game. Mm, so the, I want um to be a bad thing. OK, well, then it would be to take a penalty. If you say um, you must take a penalty. OK. I um it a lot. I know, you and me both. If you say um, then take a penalty. So you know, making a rule as as simple as that. And in the, the rule book, we actually have a section while you're doing that. Um, mm -hmm. So for people who say, I can't make up a rule, um, have you got it? I've got it. Yeah. So we have like our tips for creating rules and effects. So essentially, a rule is um, a trigger with, so we, a trigger, what's the condition that causes the rule to fire? And then what's the target of it and what is the effect mm. of that. And we created like a little table where you could almost like pick from each row. And it's like oh, instant cool. rule creation. Nice. As well. So you get to see how they interact. And then literally every spare page or area of the game, we've put in other rules, including the bottom of the box. The bottom of the box? Yeah. Clever. So you got more inspiration there if you need yeah. it. Yeah. 
So it should kind of you know give you lots of different ideas for what you can do. So I'm going to hand it over to you. I think it's your turn now to write to write a rule. Um, let me take a game card. Um, so I love like kind of Pokemon and games and like that. Mm -hmm. So I always look to them for inspiration. Um, let me see. Okay. Um, so because it's like an armadillo and mm. curling up, I'm going to say... Um, I don't know where this is going. So I'm going to suggest you can discard this card to ignore a rule, ignore a penalty. Oh, like rolling up for armor. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And then I have to give it a name. So um, let me check. Is this working? I'm going to call it Can't Touch This. So okay, we, ha we have to have puns whenever we name rules. Mm. I mean, just just if you, if you ever have a chance to name anything in life, yeah. yeah, it should be a pun. It's as simple as that. Card to ignore a penalty. Did you write the card specifically to uh, counter my card, perhaps? Actually, it will come in very <laughs> helpful there. I think it will. OK. We have a little space in here. You know the way like cards have like sets mm. and they have the little icon in the yeah. bottom. So you can kind of if this like we're saying not inside the box, you mm. can kind of name it to show. Oh, I didn't see that. Um, you could call it, like this is the family edition of the game, yeah. or this is the um, kind of Magic the Gathering inspired version of the game. Okay. You can put a little icon then in the pot to indicate that this card comes from this set. Oh, cool. And it came from. Um, some children that were playing it, and they wanted to mix their own two sets together with their mm. friends, but but be able to separate them afterwards. Mm. Um, and so we included this ability to kind of um, yeah um, code the cards to make it easier to separate them after playing as well. Exciting. Well, I'm gonna, I'm going to name the box as well. You know, um, I am going to name it Toast. Oh, so we can do all, like all kind of food themed or breakfast yeah, themed yeah, yeah. kind of rules, and that like to me is the magic of this game. Again, like one simple throwaway comment inspires another rule, which then like triggers the idea for mm. another rule, and it's got that element of um, you bring yourself to the game, and that's for us at Hub Games. It's what we love about this game is like you get to express yourself through the game. Mm. Um, but in the creation of something that's almost like bigger than yourself mm. as well. So should we play a really quick round and see how it, okay. see how it goes? So if you want to give these a really good shuffle, shuffle? because the numbers... Is there any there's... more in there that I need yeah, to Yeah, I'll bring out a few more. Um, and for, you know, for people who are fans of Pandemic, mm. um, great game by Matt Leacock, um, we have a booster pack for the game called Pandemic Legacy, which converts okay. blank into blank demic, mm. um, so it's a pandemic themed uh, game with mm. references and that riffs off pandemic and allows you to start customizing mm. the game into your own version of almost like pandemic the card game that's, as well. That's cool. That's super cool. And that game actually raises money for um, charity as well. Oh, nice. Which charity? Uh, it's Doctors Without Borders or Medicine oh. on the Frontier. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that one. So normally, if you make a rule at the end of a game, that stays out for the next game to ensure so it gets played. Got, you've got to play with it. Yeah. So we're going to have that one out. And two more. So the game starts off a little bit slowly at the beginning mm -hmm. because it's to get you the, fe the feel of how it works. But uh, quite quickly, you'll see it almost like morphing into this kind of unique mm. creature that you and your fellow players have created. And I just love that there's no two games alike. Yeah, I can imagine that it's just going to get more and more, I don't want to say like grotesque, but it's like Frankenstein-y yeah. as you go on. You're going to get more and more janky rules that someone's like, that was a great idea, said, um, said Ben at 3 AM after many, many drinks. Yeah. And um, you're going to have to live with that forever now. And that, I love that. But that opens the door for like another rule to be added later that actually like riffs off that oh, rule yeah. as well or counters that rule and that's to me it shows the kind of iterative process of game design where you try something it doesn't work well in in blank you just make a new rule that mm. corrects it or turns it into something useful as for well sure. so we're going to take you've shuffled i've so, shuffled so seven cards seven Two, cards three, thank four, you five, six, seven i'll flip over a card so this is our discard. We're playing cards from our hand. Uh -huh. 
to the discard, we must match the color or the number. Okay. okay we can play as many sixes mm -hmm. or as many blues as we want in this case, but we're not mixing the two things. Okay. Okay. Um, if you can't play, you take a penalty and you draw a card. Okay. While you're doing all this, you need to watch the three rules. So the first rule is if a one is played, all players must put their hand on the draw pile. The last okay. one must draw a card. Oh, okay. Yep. If you say um, mm -hmm. you must take a penalty, which okay. will be to draw a card. You're going to curse your own rule. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to be listening very closely. <laughs> if a diamond or purple is played, the next player must name an animal. No repeats. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, would you like to go first? I can go first. So three. Okay. So I'm quite lucky. I can play. And what's interesting as well, only the top card ever triggers. So you can actually hide a, like game cards that might have effects on them behind other cards so they don't actually trigger. Okay, cool. That's when my daughters used to write those rules about like dancing and singing. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to play multiple blues on top of that one. Okay, so oh. I'm... What happened? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Okay. Take a penalty. I will take a card. Didn't even I didn't even clock, you know. Well, I was I had actually meant to play the six on top. Oh. And so I was watching it and I realized, oh, actually. Yeah, actually I, I should do it. Mm. <laughs> it's revenge, my friend. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, my turn. Uh <laughs> <sighs> see how it is. There you go. See how it is. <laughs> 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 what are the chances? Okay. And you shuffle these cards in. Oh, oh yes, very, very much okay, so. Over to you. Oh, no, so I took a penalty, I play. Okay. Um, so I can play a card, so I must draw a card. Okay, cool. Okay, so I have to draw a card. Nope, it's still not helping. Still nothing? Nope. Okay, I think that... Oh, okay. You got something. Um, Is it a one? No, it's going to be a six, and I get to search the discard. So I can kind of bring a card into play that's going to help me. Okay. And I can just play it immediately. Um, There you go, sir. Thank you. Okay. So we got to watch for the... Oh! Yeah. Hmm? So technically, I let you off this time, but mm. I played a purple, and you didn't name an animal. Oh, no. Okay, next time. Yeah. So I'll let you off. Usually, learning game, but you go the first Le time. Well, learning game, learning yeah. game. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to play a number four. Okay. And... Just because I can't resist it. Yes. This is when you're like, I'm going to make a rule that like kills that rule. <laughs> this, is, this is an annoying rule. Okay, I'm going to play that. Nice. Okay, so I can play. A hippopotamus. Well done. Ostrich. Ah! Okay. Okay. You go. Thank you for the much. At least we haven't owned. I've been listening quite closely. Yeah, we've been trying very like, hard. Very clearly. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to play a six. Okay, I too will play a six. Oh, but did you did you not name an animal? Oh. Oh, why would you why would you miss that? I don't oh. Know. <laughs> oh. Okay, I can't go. I've got to take one. Over to you. I am down to my last card. Can you stop me? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, no. Ah, oh, that was a close one. That yes. was really close. I was going to play this one, the final countdown, which says you now have two minutes to finish the game. Yeah, I love that card. Mm. But you, you beat me to it. Because it, the song starts immediately playing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Um, so that's an example, like, we in the the kind of 
the base of the game, we include like six game effect cards, and we have the 14 rule cards. And that's just to give you a flavor of the different things you can do. So they indicate like traditional things like creating extra card draws. This is the weird kind of meta game one where you, you suddenly change the win condition mm. for the game. So it's to show people that that's possible. Um, cards that cancel effects. Um, so those few cards that are in there just give you ideas for what you can do and then inspire you to kind of add your own rules to the game and really make it your own mm. as you play it. Well, if you guys at home are watching and you want to inspire your own rules, please do pop them in the comments below because we want to hear them. Yeah. And you've got to use the hashtag. The hashtag is hashtag blank rules. If you want to post it on Twitter, Insta, Facebook, yeah. wherever hashtags are used. Um, if you're down with the kids, you can you can do that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed it. We've been playing blank by Up Games. It's been a pleasure. See you later. Bye. Bye.